This is my first year competing for the Golden Foodie Awards. Had I competed last year, I would have won the competition. Will I compete next year? If I do, I will win then. But when I won my competition this year, I haven't won my... When I win the competition this year, there will be no competition. The reason why I should win is my name's Alexander. There's only one Alexander the Great. I don't even think anyone else is in the category. <laughs> Is yeah, my competition? I don't see any competition. I think it's just me or myself. So it's, I got 50 50 chance. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. To cook a great meal, you gotta have some food, you gotta have some wine, but you gotta have the people. If you don't have the people, you're shit out of luck. From there, all kinds of things that you wouldn't think matter, matter. Temperature, smells, lighting, temperature. The reason why I became a chef, because clearly I have limitless job opportunities for myself. Uh, you can just tell, because of the way I look, I mean, I have an immaculate appearance. People actually confuse me for an accountant. But one day I was eating a, a chicken sandwich, and actually I just thought, who made this sandwich? I want to do that too, actually. So yeah, the rest is history. Let us go then, you and I. Would the evening spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table? Let us go through half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of one-night stands and cheap hotels, sawdust restaurants with oyster shells. Is it the sound of stress that makes us so digress? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm a fucking poet. Let me explain how we make the filet mignon. You want to make sure it's 9 to 10 inches. Not too big because, you know, some people can't eat the whole thing. I like all kinds of different oils on my I rub olive oil on my Kind of just rub it in there. I usually start at the thigh, start rubbing that oil in there, that salt and pepper, start getting the, the flavors coming out of it. Canola is always fun to play with. I love nice and juicy so I want to make sure it's pink in the middle. Uh, we start with a lot of butter and we cream that butter. After it comes out of the oven and it's just steaming hot, you know it's ready to go. So the bernays, you know, a little hollandaise, you want to beat it up, you know, whip up those and we call it our cookie fondito. It's a melted chocolate chip cookie, all gooey and lovey, and you dip uh, in it, and then we cook it just till it's gooey, ooey, oozy, um, delicious. Oh, it's, you know, so delicious. People just love it. They die for it. The secret ingredient that we use? Passion. The key to a perfect fine dining experience is finesse, making sure everything's perfect, and a beautiful drizzle of ketchup. And that is a fine dining experience.